My name is Malcolm Jenkins, safety for the Philadelphia Eagles. We're here on West 3rd Street in Piscataway, New Jersey, uh, where it all began for me. You know, I learned a, a lot of lessons on this, this street right here. This house had two Rottweilers. This house had a pit bull and a Rottweiler. The house over there had another Rottweiler, and they would get loose all the time. So we, we running from dogs like my whole childhood. My mom came out to kind of get us to go in the house, and the, the pit bull right there got loose. And I saw my mom run across the street and jump that fence right there without touching it. <laughs> and I said, okay, that's, I see where my jeans came from. I knew I was going to be an athlete at that point. We're here at Piscataway High School, home of the Chiefs. Uh, right on this field is kind of where I started to come into my own. Uh, and, and really where football started to become, you know, a reality when you talk about a future for me. It started really right here. We won three state championships in football in a row, my sophomore, junior, and senior year. In hindsight, looking back, we ended up having three first round draft picks on one team. Myself, Kyle Wilson, who uh, was drafted out of Boise State to the Jets and Anthony Davis who was drafted out of Rutgers to uh, San Francisco 49ers. All of us played on the same team and won three state championships together. That was an awesome feeling kind of growing up having that much success early in a public school. You know, it's, it's not like some of these private schools that recruit players here. We just all happen to grow up in this town and, uh, you know, come from hardworking families and all, you know, ended up on the same team and it, it worked out. Yeah, so this corner uh, is where really I started playing ball. And so we used to play, this, this sign right here used to be the touchdown. And then that light pole right down there was the other touchdown. And you have about six, seven kids playing in the street. Uh, and we do that all day long. This used to feel like a football field to me. And we used to play free for all, one cat get the ball and then everybody trying to tackle them. And this used to feel like you could run for ages and now I can probably cover that in three strides. I didn't like organized football when I started playing it. I liked being out here and this is kind of where I learned everything. I remember one winter in particular, only football I had was an autographed football from Tony Saragusa, Charles Way. But you know the autographed football is just the white part and it's real slick and we needed a ball to play with. So I went and grabbed that thing off the mantle and we played in the snow and it was real fun because it was hard to hold on to it with all the white stuff, you know, all the, the autograph stuff on it. And it was snowing outside. So every time somebody got hit, it was just fun. But we're playing, you know, free for all. That's probably the most fun I've had playing in the backyard ever. Really, everybody in this neighborhood gravitated to my house. My dad actually grew up in this house. And so this used to be my grandmother's house. Uh, once he got old enough, he bought it from her. We moved here. Uh, so he's been in this house his whole life, and that's really kind of how this neighborhood has been. My dad signed up a lot of the kids around here. Dwayne Gratz, who literally lived right across the street from me, plays for the Jaguars. Uh, a block down the, the street, um, Stephen Miller played for the uh, Lions for a couple seasons. And so right within a two block radius, all kids who played, you know, in my yard and kind of got brought up with my dad, all make it to the NFL. You know, I don't know if it's something in the water, but you know, I like to say that you know my my dad's influence uh, had a little bit to do with that. <laughs>